Since we've had access to sustainable aviation fuel here at Lossiemouth, we've conducted long-range NATO air policing sorties over in Eastern Europe, reassuring our NATO partners and deterring Russia, and also conducting quick reaction alert scrambles and training serials here from Lossiemouth. As the Royal Air Force, our primary aim is defending the security of the United Kingdom, and there are many security threats, not least, of course, climate change and we absolutely have to fundamentally change the way we do our business in order to secure the environment and make sure that we can operate sustainably for the future. During November 23 and March 24, we received around 4 million litres of fuel uh, in various batches. This is then mixed together in our current tanks and is used to complement our existing stocks of F-35. It's a really important step for us as we go down the road to net zero 2040 because by using the blend that we do, about 35% of sustainable aviation fuel, we can cut our carbon emissions by about 25%. In 20 years time, we're going to look back and see 2024 as the year when we made that really significant step forward to a net zero future. Using sustainable aviation fuel is completely transparent to the pilot. The immense performance of Typhoon is exactly the same with the SAF blended fuel as it is with ordinary traditional aviation fuel. For me, it marks a really big, important step forward and the fact that Royal Air Force Lossy Mouth is able to take that step on behalf of the Royal Air Force is, is really exciting. Yeah, so from a future fuels perspective, what you'll probably see in the next coming years is that SAF will become much more commonplace, not only within the RAF, but also on a much wider global scale. Therefore, I feel with this early adoption of SAF from the RAF, it highlights to the British public, the wider defence community, and also our global partners that the RAF is determined and committed to being a trailblazer in making the world a more sustainable place in the future. Um, even though I'm early on in my own RAF career, I believe that by the time I leave the military, the use of staff will be utilised as common daily practice and will become the norm throughout all RAF stations.